Welcome back to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Thank you for tuning in, watching, or listening, doing it, however you're doing it, where you're doing it, bro. And as wow. always, <laughs> this episode's brought to you by you, the patrons. Thanks for doing all that you do, uh, encouraging us to do our dark, dirty deeds. Um, Kevin, what the heck are we talking about today? Uh, well, we're T- gonna get them wet, a... get them tantalized, get them excited, get them wet. Wow, uh, we're kind of breaking this I up said. a little bit. Um, we've got two things we're going to talk about. First, and okay. most probably important to most of you, we're going to be talking about Pioneer. Oh, baby. Uh, What's Will happening? Will is going to be giving us a report What's on happening on the, f- on the front? Lewis and Clark, get your exploring stuff ready. What do you need to explore? Backpacks? Check. Um, what do you put in those backpacks, Kevin? Good question. Uh, lamps? Tels- telescopic devices? I feel as though not even needed at this point. What else do you explore with? Oh, you definitely want some parchment paper to, to make a map. <laughs> you need a sack of Jawia. All right, we're. <laughs> uh, we also. <laughs> is the rule like two? Is it one per two pioneer? Actually, no. There were several more in the Lewis and Clark expedition. Yeah, so really, it's like many to to one. At least ten, to one. Which is for exploring is great, for orgies is not. Kevin, what were you going to say? We're also going to talk about some channel updates. Okay. Uh, nothing too crazy, but just a shift in content and things like that. So we'll get into that. Uh, I don't know what the order is going to be. We'll figure that out as we go. Uh, uh, all right. But first. We'll do it. We have our random card of the day. So let's do it. Three, two, one. Load faster. Mindstone. Mindstone. Oh, that was a great card. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's fine. There's nothing like. I mean. It's, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two mana artifact. Taps for one generic mana, and then you can pay one, uh, tap it, sacrifice <laughs> it, and draw a card. Yep. Uh, the thing I like about this is, one, it's mana ramp. Yep. Mana ramp's always good. Sure. It's colorless mana ramp, sure. so it goes into any deck. Yep. And because it can go into any deck, it gives you a little bit of card draw, no matter what. Every, uh, every All the time. Every time. Every time. All the time. Yeah. Uh, we've seen it played in a number of decks, actually, but uh, it's, I yes. mean, it's not a very exciting card. It's just like a solid card no no yeah i think um this is like solid like if you don't have a great mana rock in commander like you're just missing one something yeah you know what i mean this yeah, is yeah. fine to go in there um, absolutely yeah um, drawing there cards are nice. like Easy i don't want to say like eggs decks but like they're that style of decks yes. like to run a card like this as well it's just perfect. because it's i mean it does you all you need it to the, do yeah there's plenty of interaction here right yeah oh, you're yeah. drawing cards you're tapping things you're spending mana it hits the yard you know yep does all the great stuff. A plus. A plus. Uh, not a whole lot to talk Ten about. points like to Mindstone. It's a it's different art, right? promo. So it's the Gateway twenty or 2007 yep. promo. That's a really interesting piece of yep. artwork. I've only ever seen this version, the any other version. <laughs> the any other version. The original Most other Weatherlight versions. Version. Weatherlight, World um, Champs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same. I, I hadn't seen yeah. that Gateway promo. I like this more, sweet. I think, though. Yeah, I do, too. I like the promo more. Okay. Uh, very cool. Yeah, that's fun. That's a fun card. That's a good card. It is a good card. Do you want to do Pioneer? Or do you want to do updates first? I'm curious about some of these because some of them I know about. Updates? Yeah, some okay. of them I don't, right? Uh, I think some are a surprise. I don't know. We kind of just talked about pretty much all of it before oh, okay. we got on here. All right, then roll it downhill. <laughs> roll it downhill to me, Daddy. I'm ready to catch it. All right, so first thing. Spin me the spin me that pigskin, Dad. I'm open. Man, you are just doing all the most. I love it. Uh, Okay, first things first, and the thing that affects most people. Uh, So if you don't know, and you just listened to this podcast. For the first time ever. For the first time ever, or you only listen on the podcast app. If you're just a glutton for our sweet voices. Yes. For our sweet, sultry lisps. How you doing? Then there's a lot of places to find us. There is. Uh, <laughs> YouTube is the biggest one. Uh, fun fact. Um, so we do a lot of videos over there. In the past, for like the past, good lord, how long have we done the Crack Back series? It's been well over a year. Yeah, over a year. Not as long as we've had the channel, no, but at least we couldn't a year. always afford it. Um, Amen. It was an expensive series to do. Thank you, um, patrons. After, like, yeah, honestly, it would not have happened without the patrons long term. <laughs> Uh, but do you want to play sad music while you're talking about this? Yeah, kind of. All right. Um, <laughs> how, are you, how far back are you getting? All right. You good? Get it. Keep me up. So get it. <clears throat> I regret to inform you, the viewers, the listeners, those of you out there who care about it resolves. The crack a pack series is coming to an end.
That's beautiful. Uh, yeah. So uh, that was um, oh shit, the packs in A minor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So here's the deal, guys. The Crackaback series, after almost 400 episodes, good um, god. Yeah, three times a week, every week. Uh, very very fun series. Lots of you fun just, to open up those old. You're packs. just addicted to flipping. <laughs> Yeah, I just like open. to open stuff. Who doesn't, though? It was very much an excuse to open old packs and stuff. Hey, but everybody loves. Um, uh, <clears throat> I mean, they're fun. They're bingeable. Like, all of them are still yeah. up on the channel, so you can just go watch a bunch of them. Yeah. Um, they are very, very fun, uh, but... And we did get some sweet stuff. We did get some really sweet pulls, but uh, it was time-consuming to make. Yes. It was um, obviously expensive to buy all those packs. Yeah, yeah. And I think our money and our time could be better suited elsewhere uh, and directly relating into gameplay videos. Boop, boop. So uh, if you've paid any attention to our YouTube channel, there, without a doubt, over the last like two weeks, you've noticed we've oh done my. a lot of gameplay. Yes. Thank God they um, actually play magic is what they're yeah, saying. Honestly, um, that was like a big complaint in the beginning is that we never posted gameplay. Um, yeah, time do you remember sucks. That? Yeah. Oh, I mean, come on, we uh, that sucked. Uh, people yeah. are like, "Do you guys even play?" Like, yes, we play. We just don't have time to show you. Like, I'm sorry. Um, so we're prioritizing that a lot higher now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've dedicated. I will say, Arena makes it a lot easier now, right? Arena like... makes it so much easier, and it's more fun. Like, it's more yeah. interesting to watch because of the the interface and everything. Agreed, so it's agreed, just agreed, agreed. it's such a nice like platform for it. So. Um, I'm taking a lot of time to record a lot of gameplay. I've gotten a video up every day this week. I got like 10 videos up in the last week. Yeah. Y'all um, want to see some sweet magic? Yeah. Uh, we it's got really, it. really fun. So, uh, please this do go check those videos everything. out if you have not already. Yeah. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. You'll um, love it. So, yeah, and Will, I don't know what your schedule is like, but if you want to jump on some gameplay, you totally can. Hey, put you, you on know, the spot. You know the situation? I know. It's getting, I will say it's getting better. It's less frustrating to record now. Yes. Our, the network at the, at the, um, Manor Day Will is not very Manor great. Manor Day Will, I love that. Uh, yeah. for those who are not privy, aka all of you, um, yeah. we're fixing that now. Good, good. Internet service provider. Dude, they all suck. <laughs> um, Some of them. You know what's funny is that they don't suck on purpose all the time, but all of them suck some of the time on yeah, purpose. Yeah, 100%. Which is crazy to me. I just want fiber optic down in my my little area. You yeah, know what I mean? Good lord! Fiber cables, please. That'd be great. It'd be awesome. But there's a lot of well, that's a whole other like not magic that's related not topic. A, that's <laughs> not a thing for this podcast. No, it's not. Um, thank God. But yes, if you yeah the the goal is that we will both be able to start recording some gameplay in the near future and be able to get a lot more content up and for you guys. Get to see these charming budding personalities. Yeah. Win. I got my first, because I do three, when I do Constructed, I do three games of whatever deck I'm playing. Mm -hmm, I got mm -hmm. my first 3-0 on oh recording my. Uh, in like two weeks, <laughs> which says a lot. Oh, um, hey, that's awesome. Man. And it was with the Abzan Enchantments deck, which is such a fun deck. I am like just plowing through All the right. ladder with that deck. It's so fun. Anyway. Look out, ladder. Look out, Kevin. ladder. I'm a climb ya um i want you to say that but more confidently because you really tapered off there did i we um <laughs> give it let's take that from the top can you give me a little bit more oomph yeah, yeah don't yeah. make it sexy just make it confident just confident are you so look out ladder i'm gonna climb you cute anime music <laughs> copyright aot uh okay no. that wasn't german <laughs> um so yes more gameplay no crack of packs we may oh. long term i mean we have no idea where the channel is going to go long term it'd be great to bring that back we have no plans to. <clears throat> um patreon not a whole lot of updates there uh if nope. you haven't heard we're doing we have a ten dollar tier now that we have restructured so there is a mystery proxy to be had yeah if you want um, all the proxies yeah that's uh, the way to do it what that also does that ten dollar tier though it also gives you the opportunity to uh like if there was a proxy that you missed from a previous month yes, 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 where yes, yes. you're able to request that and then assuming that we have it in stock which most of them we still have at least a few of though i think there's a few that we're running very very low um you can actually request that directly to us we'll make sure we write it down and we'll send that to you instead of the mystery so yeah uh that just kind of solved two problems there um uh social media you've probably noticed if you're on any of our social media platforms we've been a lot more regular about posting 
Uh, that's because we took a laxative and that helped us be more regular. That was such a bad joke. I knew as I was saying it, I was like, this is going to be really bad, but I, I'm committed. Oh, man, that was mentally. so, that that so funny. Up? I just have a, oh, man, my gut's busted. We busting. need that sad music again. That oh, was my bad. butt's gusting. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, hey, dude, it's all good. Yeah. Hey, man, everyone, look. Just let it go. Um, you got to praise the effort a lot of the time, because I feel like not a lot of people would. Kevin, how brave. Thanks. To go for a laxative joke. <laughs> That's what I think. I think you want me to respect the man's bravery. Yeah. Above all else, his his un his unwavering courage. I'm glad somebody respects. He that. knew that. He knew. <laughs> Fuck off. But he never retreated. <laughs> I he, said it with confidence. You made I, me practice. And it was listen. It was, it was for was that. Worth it. I felt it in my bones that something there was brewing. <laughs> Behind that sultry beard of yours, something a. would flop out that just was shouldn't. So many words that were bad descriptors in that sense. Anyway, <laughs> um, sultry flop. Yeah, they just. That's a verb, though. To in my yeah, defense, no, that's, that's not a descriptor. That's fair. Although, wouldn't it be it descri- actually it, no floppy? I think it well. It well describes the action, though. Like it is obviously an action word, but. Are we talking about? I'm sorry. This is viewers. You can ear must for a second. Are we talking about? The action of, of pooping or like what you did? <laughs> <laughs> just flopping a joke out there. Well, either way, flopping is just a very Because like, you don't like flop. Flop to me is like, oh, gosh, I got to put all this down. Flop. And you like just set it down. Oh, no. I think of, <laughs> well, <laughs> I think like if you lay if you lay your arm out, right? Yeah. And it just flops. It's like it's gone limp and it just lays down and flops. Yeah. A lot of useless things you drop would would be like yeah. that. Yeah. No, I know? get that. Like I understand, but it's just like I've given up so I'm flopped. Oh. Okay. Right. Anyway, uh, guys, we're back. Where'd we're you go? Back. Social media. We've been a little bit more regular about posting, including some new stuff like trivia. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Thanks to the mirror locks. Hoping... Right, right. Yes. <laughs> we are hoping to keep that going. Uh, so if you're interested, just check out all of our social media stuff. Links are below. Uh-huh. Uh, you can uh-huh. answer trivia. You can guess the card. You can game. play some games. You can... We're trying to gamify some content. Play wherever bit. you are, unless you're driving. Get off Instagram. You yeah. Fucking psychopath. Yeah. You just that. keep doing it. People keep running into shit, and you keep they doing do. it. They do. When are they? When are we gonna learn as a human race? You know what? Here, no. You know what? what? We need to stop all those PSAs. Here's why. Oh, okay. Listen to me. PSA. Listen to what? It's just gonna. It's weeding them out. Ah. You know what I mean? Natural selection. <laughs> do we have we to? Do it? It's like people that fall in at the zoo. You know, like, like are we really upset really about? You try to fall yeah. in at the zoo. Yeah, not only that, but like you can't fight a fucking lion that's <laughs> been force fed every day of its life so that it's not vicious enough to attack you. Yeah, exactly. The gorillas, I get. Holy shit. Yeah, don't but fuck with a gorilla. A tiger at like the Cincinnati Zoo. Yeah. If this is an actual reference to a traumatic event in your life, please understand that these these jokes, these comments, every term mentioned it's here. For the sake of comedy. It's comedy. It's satirical. It's not meant to be serious. All right. Serious time's over. The fucking dummies <laughs> <laughs> throwing their bodies into the lion pits. I mean, you come deserve on. It. No, um. you didn't have a plan enough to bring like a sharpened stick down there. If you're gonna, if you're gonna have the forethought to like, I, I bet I could jump that wall. Yeah, that's what I think. Like they legally put railings, walls, that kind of they stuff. They do it around. legally, and that's not well, to mention the illegal I'm stuff. They, <laughs> I'm saying they legally have to do that to keep yeah. people from just accidentally falling in. So like, right. you literally. Unless you're like seven, eight feet tall, but even you then, really that's, have to, to get try. your long, creepy yeah. legs over that thing. <laughs> I mean, come, have you ever seen a seven foot person? No, yeah, they just don't look real. No, they don't. It's like what part um, of you is the monster? <laughs> it's all of you. <laughs> man, I love this. Ah, episode slender already. man. A what a slender um, man. Have you have you seen Marble Hornets? Yes. N- no. Have you seen Marble Hornets? No. What the fuck? You don't know what that is? A Marble Dude, Hornet? we're so talking about this after. I was just going to show you a picture of Taco Fall, the 7 foot 5 Celtic <laughs> Center. What is a Marble Hornet? The, it's a YouTube channel. Oh, well, fuck that. Never Dedicated mind. Dedicated to Slenderman. No. Oh, it's uh, like. They can suck my Slender dick. Never mind. Let's just. <laughs> we're going on to, to some magic stuff. Uh, last thing I just want to say we're considering merch. You may see, see some down the road that oh, might be man. available. So Have keep you an ever eye wanted out. to wear a magic pun? We'll. Get ready. <laughs> when we think of some. <laughs> <laughs>
um that's <laughs> it though that's it for updates hope you enjoyed that was my piece i'm gonna just not talk for the rest of this podcast kevin you're not not allowed you're not a, not whoop i think you're not allowed to talk i now. don't think i physically can speak apparently not kevin you yeah. have not lost the privilege of speech you may at any point and I'm, I'm i'm gonna need you to yeah just jump in with your stuff all right whatever that is i have no i've not updated myself on pioneer so well that's what i'm here to do good um, do it folks Let's go. friends of the family of the channel of the <laughs> you know whatever you are wow <laughs> that was just for you that was beautiful. hey we need room tone on your uh snot <laughs> <clears throat> all right so What's happening in Pioneer, guys? Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Some really cool things. It's finally, finally made its way onto some uh, tournaments in the tournament scene. Uh, that's growing along. A lot of PTQs. A lot of... Um, oh, God. I just lost the word. Uh, like Star City Games opens and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a lot, of, a lot of tournaments. So we finally have a lot of data. I say finally. We've had it for a minute. But we're finally going to talk about it. Because we're late to the party. Uh, <laughs> one, of my big, to one of my biggest thoughts, though... Um, recently was man i wonder how that uh uh i wonder if there's a combo deck or something crazy that's rising to the top because you know the cream always rises to the top so to speak yep it does you know, you're right in your coffee oh i know actually no that's technically in milk production but yeah whatever uh so is there a deck <laughs> right now that is busted has busted open the meta kev <clears throat> any Do i know is it the inverter of truth combo I'm so glad you brought that up, Kevin. Um, you are both right and wrong. Not wrong. You're right, but not in the way that you think you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is a fantastic combo. The Inverter of Truth deck uh, is... I know there are talks of that being banned at the next announcement. Um, it's... But that's about all I have heard. I don't know if they would. It's super good. Um, I don't know what the numbers look like. It's like... It's pretty solid, but there's one deck in particular that's beating it that we can talk about in a oh, second. Okay. Um, I kind of want to bring up four decks um, in this in the in the time I have you four all here. Four big old decks. Four yep. just just real solid. Slender deck. Nope. They're <laughs> thick sixty card decks, man. Thick man. If you ask a commander player, they're gonna think that's slender. That's fair. All right, and especially if they double sleeve it. If they double oh. sleeve it, oh my god. Can I just say, if you double sleeve your commander deck, fuck you, man. Because you make us all wait on you to shuffle That's your true. fucking deck because you can't manhandle that thing. It's, <laughs> like, it's true. There's no, unless you have ungodly. Poor woman handle, sorry. That's fair. <laughs> unless you have some ungodly paws. Just yeah, some, if just you're some like real seven big foot digits. tall and can fall into a tiger's den, maybe you can. Yeah. But... If a seven foot tall man, though, honestly, was in a tiger's den, I think the tiger would run away. I don't know. It depends on the tiger. It depends on the tiger. I think like a zoo tiger, definitely. Like if it's the tiger from uh, Aladdin. Raja? That one. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably just going to lay there. But like if yeah. it's an act, you know. Now listen, if it's... A I'm trying for jokes if and it's they're a just not good. <laughs> if it's a street tiger, look out. A street tiger, yeah. Yeah, like a wild one. But if it's like a regular fucking like Joe Schmo tiger. Yeah. Like you can see that tiger at a coffee shop and be like, that fucking guy. Yeah. I bet his name is like Todd Stone or something. I thought you were going to say Tony. <laughs> I really thought you were going to say Tony. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so every time you say that, I think of Chicken I Little. All right. Um, I do want to start with Demir Inverter. Um, old friend yeah. of the channel. Not really a friend of the channel, but someone that we have spoken with and, and not collaborated with but we're in contact with um has actually gotten pretty big playing this uh puzzle periwinkle oh yeah, yeah. allison warfield as yes. you may know her uh played demir inverter at a big tournament did very well i don't know that it was her first top eight i don't want to say that but uh she Something, crushed it i saw a post about it first of all good mm -hmm. for her she's, crushed it yeah i think she's one of our partners on instagram she so is that's why I she's really it. really yeah i mean she she's has great content she's, she's awesome very competitive and i just think this is her player. first top eight top eight excuse me it very well could be i don't um, want to say i know she's actually, i don't know for sure but I'm she's fairly certain. published some articles or yeah published some articles before yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. going over a bunch of cool stuff she's way yeah. smarter than we are Kev. she is um i think the poop jokes are evident of that <laughs> i chimed in so that's both of us all right bud so don't even take now that I don't personally feel as bad. i appreciate you, you being there you shouldn't so. this is why we work as a team to make i make really terrible jokes and you're like i'll stoop down to your level it's fine i was i was already here baby <laughs> i've been playing them on the time baby <laughs> is it much 
All right. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, how does this deck work? So essentially, it's a combo deck running around Inverter of Truth and a couple other things. Uh, uh, Jace Wielder of Mysteries is a big... Um, I think that's how you win more often than not in this deck is with Jace. Um, but Inverter is how you get there. Yeah. So Inverter takes your entire uh, library... You exile it all, and then you take whatever cards are in your graveyard. Bam, wham, bam. That's now your library. Jace says, if you don't have any cards in your library, congrats. That's the W right there, boys and girls. If I'm not mistaken, Thassa's Oracle mm -hmm. is a second win condition, though, as well, yes. right? Yes, 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 yes. Harder or easier to get rid of than Jace. Um, yeah, much easier. So you, you can't win that way. So essentially, this list can run anywhere between, like, you want five to eight win cons win like con copies cards. of these guys yeah yeah um and then how do you get there i mean you get like dig through time you get uh opt you know Sell all the card draw get all your things <laughs> uh the, i mean it's it's honestly a pretty simple deck in that um it doesn't necessarily goldfish because you have a lot of interaction you have yeah. some removal fatal push heroes downfall or like I think it has used Verasca's Contempt too, even though mm -hmm. that's like more expensive. You want to keep some stuff up for opt and all that, but exiling is nice though. Exactly. Yeah. So um, you have some interaction like that. Um, some decks are even um, like running simple counters, but not every. And I don't suggest that. I don't yeah, think that's I don't necessarily the, think counters are the way to go. But not always. Mm -hmm. um, but thought erasures like another one. There's just ways to interact and keep yeah. your and kill your or opponent's threats and all that fun stuff. Uh, and sure. then you just inverter and wham bam there you go now although you should point out inverter is also a pretty good way to win even if you don't i was gonna say do I the mean, whole exile thingy yeah a flyer flying six six that's pretty good that's never bad i was gonna say if you control it it's yeah, never bad that's great so uh that's pretty cool yeah i saw that deck uh <laughs> i haven't seen it played actually um i've been meaning to like catch up on some it's pretty simple stuff but it, it's yeah pretty straightforward. It, it looks like a cool deck though i like it it is very good um now not a lot of people knew what to do with it against it rather i should say right um and that i mean it kind of makes sense if you can't counter inverter then yeah i mean you're in a bad that's place that's pretty good yeah, yeah. Uh, once they resolve that inverter it's almost guaranteed to win uh, oh, well, that's that's unfair to say, but yeah. they're in a really good position because, yeah, yeah. I mean, they'll have a Jace very soon. So My assumption is it loses out to, I mean, just like an Azorius control deck, essentially, because a well-timed counter does kind of shut it down. Yes, and to be fair, I'm not sure. However, that's where your Thought Seize and Thought Erasure come in play. Yeah. You know when you're Get, safe dig to those pull stuff out. out of the hand right, exactly. Kind of thing. Um, yeah, definitely. So hmm. uh, this deck fights pretty well against those those kinds of decks because right. it is it is tool to kind of... Uh, get through that stuff and then sure. it's also got you know say dig through time and things like that um dig through time i especially like in this deck because it asks you to delve like up to six cards yes which a lot of times can be most of your yard right you know? so you get your yard down to very few yeah and so then to win. jace you know a lot of times you're drawing like less than seven to win yeah which is really nice yeah, yeah. um so that's a cool interaction uh yeah, so Allison didn't make this deck, but she did pilot it very well. Um, I think a streamer made this uh, a couple weeks before she played it, um, but she wasn't the only person to play it at the tournament, so it's not, yeah, yeah. it wasn't a huge secret. But mm -hmm. Cat's out of the bag now. Uh, it's posting about 7% of the meta in Pioneer oh, okay. right now. That's not as high as I thought. And you'll find Mr. Kevin. 11% is the highest uh, oh. meta play deck, which you'll see. That's actually not... I mean, that's it's fine. Not bad. Yeah, it's yeah. not bad. And uh, it is an aggro deck, of course. So let's, <laughs> let's go into that. Then we'll talk about um, the two other decks. Okay. So that deck, that 11% meta deck, is brrr, mono black aggro. Oh, ah. man. Just that makes a sense. really, just a solid deck. Yeah. Uh, it's a simple concept, and I like it very much. Is it a devotion focus deck? So, good question. Yes and no interesting um, well what's nice about mono colors and mono decks especially my wife says she loves me oh and also hello oh tell her i said hi i will but later we're working no, you're good do it now no. All right. <laughs> everyone wait it's not uh, anybody's listening. <laughs> uh, so uh, th no this deck is very simple um i like it a lot uh this i mean it it plays very well on, on recurring threats as most mm. of black does but that's kind of its biggest theme um, you have stuff like Blood Soak Champion, Dread Wanderer, Graveyard Marshal um, that plays with the yard or gets things back. So essentially, it's always got a board presence. Even yeah. after a sweep, 
very quickly you can see that you're still dealing with threat yeah, scrap yeah. heap scrounger rankle is there uh rankle's very solid huh. in this deck very cool uh, four mana flyer isn't like awful haste is always good then you have an option to make them discard you know yeah you draw sacrifice creatures exactly draw cards. he's he, he kind of does everything you would want in this kind of deck yeah, yeah, yeah. uh murderous rider makes an impact oh, um murderous rider is such a good tech card absolutely and <clears throat> all of these things are uh I mean, they're all simple, simple cards, right? Yeah. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Uh, what really makes this pop, though, is Mogus's Marauder, to me. Um, hmm. So that's its devotion play, yeah. right? Uh, just to come in for a really big swing. Yeah, yeah. Right? So you get all these little guys out here. Um, Knight of the Evan Legion, as well, is out there. So very quickly, that, oh, yeah, that can, can get pumped. Um, this plays a lot, to me, like a red deck that just doesn't give up. Like, there's a <laughs> lot of a lot of things yeah, to do yeah. in this deck. It runs Thoughtseize, as well. <laughs> Um, interesting if you play black you should run thoughts i mean yeah there's always some deck is going to have a just a devious card to throw you off your game plan no matter really what deck you're playing thoughts can conclude you into so much obviously if x cards in your hand are safe you kind of know all right even though they're going to draw a card next turn i really have x amount of turns before i'm going to see this many counters mm -hmm. or like they can amass this much damage or you know what threats are coming right sure um to a recent to a to a like relative degree right they're yeah, yeah. always gonna draw cards it's there. never gonna be perfect right but... uh it has also has fatal push what's nice about this is it can run murderous rider and that's a threat as well as murder yeah yeah right well worse murder you lose two right yeah, yeah but does it <clears throat> also hit planeswalkers it does so, so better murder better murder i would say depends depends what if they don't run planeswalkers yeah. like this deck <laughs> that's fair i guess having it's nice i mean yeah uh, it's the <laughs> anyway it's the access and the flexibility right 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 um <laughs> so just a very very solid deck we have things like kalitas legions and oh, kalitas uh lost legacy fun enough in the sideboard that's pretty sweet lost legacy mm -hmm. wait Ooh. okay yes is this the one with the art of somebody looking in a mirror or something yeah you're yeah what do we do do you know do it you remember exiles something but i don't remember yeah it's it's like your uh spinal Oh, surgical surgical extraction. extraction thingy uh spinal's okay. not even in that I almost said no. spinal tap have you I've thought always spinal... wanted have you seen spinal tap oh, of okay. course I've i figured seen, you have seen spinal tap. um i figured you said spine because it literally the art well, shows yeah. the spine so that's why i, I always think that. of that um, um but yeah this is great so uh i think you could very easily argue that gary should be in this deck um and i think that you've right like you've got an argument I mean, for that there is an argument i the thing about gary is mm -hmm. like it's a really i mean gary's a very good card uh yeah, yeah i found him to be less good in this theros environment than he was in the first theros environment that's fair by a long way sure um, i think the black isn't as strong you're missing black a lot of like definitely not as strong. you're missing some cheap like recurring interactive things yes. like the whip to me was the big one oh, so good um, when you could whip everything back it was just broken like right. my thing is so i mean in limited like, you and have constructed a... i don't find him to be anywhere as good as he used to be. oh yeah like, limited, in limited no, i I, I mean i think he's very good you take him but like i've been up against a deck with multiple garys and i'm like meh yeah like it's fine i yeah. can just deal with it like i it's think not you're, a big you're deal. spending a lot of mana to do a lot of damage right away right but, but if you you're don't... not like after that you're if you don't have a good follow-up you're kind of like if it's gary into some something yeah that's a lot nicer than well a top decked gary so i'm gonna play it yeah yeah that's it is a, usually a solid top deck but it's just not yeah it's it always it's not the game ending card it's that always it was relevant but i don't think you get time. to count on it um, um as much as you did yes in gary's past uh, but i do think there's an argument there i mean yeah. i having not seen the list i don't know mm -hmm. what you know by turn four or five what your devotion actually looks like it depends. on a regular basis yeah it depends you can um, easily have like five to six see um, and that's i i think there's a bit of a my guess would be there's a bit of a variance mm -hmm. there considering that it runs things like thought sees and fatal pushes and stuff like that like there mm -hmm. could be draws where your devotion is like me not great and in which case sure. gary is much much worse obviously yeah um still i mean it's a it's a life point swing you drain the life oh it yeah it can't be bad it's definitely like, nice it's definitely nice <clears throat> and um, it might be that it's like a tech card it could be you know what i mean like it might be very very good in the situations where you're up against a deck it, maybe even i i hesitate to say a control deck because it's very difficult to say it's this is great against a control deck when it's well like, it kind of is so um, if, if you think about all your cards like bloodstone champion dread wanderer graveyard yeah. Mar uh, not graveyard marshal but scrap scrounger sweepers um, are like whatever 
Like you yeah, don't care. Yeah, and like not only sweepers, but I think counters too, because sure. there's, this doesn't give you great counterable targets in it that devalues it, them. Yeah. yeah, its game plan is very simple. It's just gonna beat you up. Yeah. So like you should find a way to remove these cards and counter them if you can. But then right, how but do you do that? Yeah, yeah, they just come back. <clears throat> um, exactly. But I do exactly. think like. I, I, that's one of those like because the general consensus is when you're playing a control deck you're you kind of go into it knowing that like okay i'm probably going to get to a fairly low life total and then uh -huh. i stabilize and then i come back right like that's <clears throat> generally <throat> speaking how control works yeah. out so definitely, like definitely. if you get them to a low enough life total and then you just get a well time gary you just win you know what yeah. i mean like if you're fair. against it so i fair i think that there's some tech there but i i don't know if it's good enough not even in the sideboard kevin it's not in the sideboard of a lot of these lists i i don't know that i disagree with that uh, i mean it's yeah. a good tech card but i don't know if it's better than a lot of the other options out there um, all right and again having not looked at the list so i i don't know yeah that's fair um but this is the most played deck right now um not cool. necessarily the most winningest deck <clears throat> excuse me but i think it's very simple uh it all it leaves you a lot to do with your mana yeah right because that's always good even if like they've killed some things if they haven't exiled them there's probably something to bring back yeah, yeah. or there's something to exile to give you say i don't know a 2-2 two -two zombie token and stuff like yeah. that so yeah. there's a lot of things to do, do um, they play speaking <clears throat> of 2-2 two -two zombies yeah. do they play a femia probably not no Okay, so not to jump into standard really quick, but Damn. that Abzan Zombies or Abzan Enchantment stuck. Yeah, yeah. Aphemia is such an all star. I looked yeah. over that card. That card is amazing in that deck, though. Hey. It just spits out two twos every turn. You're like, cool. I can just win yeah, very it's, easily. It's pretty nice. Anyway, uh, two sorry. twos kind of have taken over standard. Two two zombies specifically. And two two, um, is it Griffins or Pegasus from uh, Archon of Sun's Grace? Yeah, it's um, Pegasi, isn't it? Pegasi, maybe. But that, so that Abzan Enchantment deck is, mm -hmm. uh, like, Satessan Champion's the only green card in it, which okay. just lets you draw cards. It runs the Hateful Eidolon and the Life's Bounty one drops, and then it just, like, Myers Grasps and, like, Dead Weights and crap like that. So it's all, like, yeah. shitty enchantments, you know what I mean? Like, they're not, it's not actually a... But if enchantments matter, if that's the thing, But, then... like, even if the enchantment misses, it's, like... <laughs> Well, you countered it, but it's in my graveyard, so Ephemia gets to eat it, and now I get a 2-2. And, like, even if you just play it, and it doesn't kill a thing, you yeah. spit out a 2-2, because, and you draw a card and get a counter, and, like, all this. It just values everything up so yeah, hard. Yeah, sweet. It's awesome. Sweet. Sorry, didn't mean to jump on. No. Hell oh, yeah. I love that deck. Hey, Kevin. Hey. Wouldn't it be fun if <clears throat> the all-stars of every red deck wins were kind of all together in one deck? Yeah, that'd be awesome. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> so the next deck i want to talk about is mono red aggro or red deck yeah, wins yeah, yeah. as it's called um just can't seem to die it's found a home really in most Ugh. formats right now yeah. um things such as we have eidolon of the great rebel monastery swift sphere uh yeah. you may know them from such formats as modern <laughs> you heard of it <laughs> uh we have cards like bone crusher giants uh, so rampaging good. Ferocidon, which was never banned in Pioneer, which is awesome. Um, <laughs> and I say that I, it's fun. It's a good card. It is a good uh, card. <clears throat> things like Soul's Garbage, they're still here. They're still around. Yeah. Uh, really interesting red card, but here we are. Yeah. Uh, Rimrock Knight is has been a solid beater, a la Pump Spell or whatever for yeah, a just, while. It's a good two for one. Yeah, kind of value. it's fine. Um, Lightning Strike. And Wild Slash are our other spells and a lot of these lists. Chandra, Torch of Defiance is our only Planeswalker we would ever need to run in Red Deck Wins. Yep. Straightforward as hell is what this amounts to. I mean, but it's, it's doing. <laughs> it's <clears throat> sorry. I'm not. I don't mean to cut you off. I just can't speak. It's fine. <sighs> can I try again? Yeah. Can I? Yeah, Do you please. mind? Go for it. All right. Let me do this. Uh, it's doing pretty you good. You know. <laughs> it's been pretty good uh there's not a whole lot to talk about in that except uh we'll i'll address it before we get into this next deck um how do you beat aggressive decks uh it's tricky it's tricky if you're not also playing an aggressive deck uh kevin alluded to it you're going to get to a low life total if you're not an aggressive deck if you are uh a mid-range deck a lot of these can trade with you um the mono black especially they've got targeted removal so yeah you can play your um what's the what's the seed rhino you can play that, that yeah that's really cool you can gain your life now it's dead yeah because murder's rider 
yeah. is here. Surprise. <laughs> um, and now it's it's well, turn five, and you don't have a board. It's it's interesting against aggressive <clears throat> decks. Obviously, it depends heavily on the deck you're playing, but there's yep. a lot of so. If you're a goldfish deck, obviously you just, just kind of hope you go. you hope you get there. You're um, racing in a different manner. Yeah, right? exactly. You're just racing to get your combo out, and if it yep. wins, it wins. Um, if you're a control deck, a lot of times you get to that low life total, and then you just sweep, and then hope right. that they can't rebuild. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're like a black base deck, you just start one for oneing everything. It's like sure. here's this one one or this two two. Don't care, gonna kill it. You know what I mean? It it feels and terrible, you have to. but you have to because yeah. if you do start to get to that low life total, it kind of starts to spiral out of control. Definitely, and you just start to like, okay, I can't. You get realize out of it. you can't play safe. You if right. you have a creature, you've got to put it down. If, exactly. If it's a blocker, it has to block. And, and especially in this case, like they've got lightning strikes uh, and wild slashes. So like, yeah. if you get down to like three life. I mean, against any mono red deck, if you get down to like two, three life, it's like, okay, well, yeah. shock and I die. So like you, right. you can't get in that range. Like it's, yeah. it's so like imperative that you just one for one everything. <laughs> yeah. Board in you all your to. removal and just take out. I mean, feel it, even if you don't build your board up for a significant mm-hmm. amount of time, as long as you're dealing with their board first, mm-hmm. it's going to be so much harder for them to rebuild. Especially if you've got a win con to get to. Exactly. That's, it's better if it's not a, creature always i know that yeah uh, in a lot of cases it's well, going to be burn it. right right they can just burn it in in red deck um chandra's a great way to do that um yeah chandra's stupid good yeah she's fantastic <laughs> um she's great so some cards that make this really difficult right now to get there things like <laughs> experimental frenzy uh chandra obviously yeah um the cards in black we talked about that just keep coming back there's if they're dealing with if you're dealing with things okay but they can keep either refilling their hand giving them more threats or just bringing their shit back yeah it's tough it's really tough yeah yeah. um so you kind of if you're playing that mid-range style so abzan's a good color combination to do that maybe some white green stuff like that you're gonna have stronger creatures in the long run um playing them out earlier than you'd like to is kind of better um a lot of times those decks will play them out when they can support their board a little better Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe they have more enchantments um i think this season's a really good example yeah um in standard especially but there's less setup time you just kind of have to flop and go you know get your stuff out there um control decks uh it's it's tricky to kind of not use parts of your deck but considering not using things that damage you to yeah. forward your game plan you, you have to at some point start thinking about that in the early game don't like you have to get there but in the later games like it, it's it's tougher yeah. um if you have cheap early game interaction like one mana counters or or opt those things are good when because the, their their deck doesn't really ever gain more value past turn three right um they don't play a bunch of stuff that's over three mana chandra and experimental frenzy being the the um exception right uh but they're not playing stuff that is super flashy so if you have a lot of cheap things uh to throw at them or against them in the early game that's good to keep up with them especially if your cheap things include some card draw yes um because you need to get to whatever's gonna do it for you you know find that sweeper man sweepers (laughs) always dream trawlers whatever that yeah the scary thing is that can really threaten their board uh because they don't want to race a dream trawler um you can just start either blocking and eating their things or just dealing massive amounts of damage um so that's tricky um, but you know what's super unfair? Just real shitty. What's up? Of aggro decks. What's up? If, yes, they're aggressive. But if B, you have a fucking instant combo win as well, <laughs> doesn't that just suck? <laughs> Let's talk about that. Uh, Heliod, Sun Crown, yeah. and Walking Ballista. It's here. So fucking it's annoying. being played. It's winning yeah. all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, this, I mean, this deck is very, very good, and I wanted to spend more time talking about it. Uh, what it was missing for me was, like, some good ways to get to its combo, and but there are some pretty solid ways. Arkansas is the biggest, really the only one, but the big mm. one. Uh, Arkansas is a 3-3 flyer for four hybrid mana of blue and white. Uh, when it enters, you look at the top four cards. You can take an artifact or an enchantment, both of your the pieces of this combo are walking ballista and heliod are artifacts and enchantments yes it <laughs> finds every piece of it which is sweet uh you're also running things like thraven inspector card draw and a little dude yeah you're running things uh like i've seen some 
distinguished advocates tomic that dude mm. the flyer um lands and graveyards can't be the target of spells your opponents can't play lands from graveyards cuts off stuff um it's just kind of good in the meta right now yeah it's not super important but you get banalish marshall uh daxos blessed by the sun uh oh. who's great in a mono white because it's just a fat boy yeah it, it can block anything yeah yeah um plus you're gaining a bunch of life because you're playing some things is it, it purely a mono <clears throat> white deck uh yes okay yep it is and offense is in it as well mm. isn't that fun mm-hmm. you can bolster things <laughs> uh what else did we want to say um knight of the white orchid is an interesting and really cool play huh. right uh it's, i mean i'm in i like it yeah but... i think it's fu- it's a fine card as to your devotion is a 2-2 with first strike which is never bad yeah um not great i guess i'll in you know, a lot of constructed but it's fine uh but it I'll well, never lets you miss a, ma- a land drop i mean the goal of the deck is like the goal of anything lower than four mana is just to keep you alive until you can get to the combo i assume or, and i think in a lot of cases yeah in this i mean if they're running daxos life gain if sure. you're running like right 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 knight of the white or- orchid like that's gonna have to eat a burn spell because it blocks most things in mono red sure Pretty, you know sure, what i mean sure, sure like that it's just hey eat these spells really quick until i get to the combo like i have to imagine that's pretty much all it's carrying yeah about. the combo can win as soon as it's down if it's played a turn late though yeah interesting to say yeah, um, yeah. because in a lot of decks that don't interact yeah on the stack like red yeah red can kill stuff cool but if they're playing walking ballista out from their hand you don't get to yeah um so fuck you <laughs> fuck essentially you red players <laughs> um you assholes <clears throat> but uh <laughs> yeah because he uh, doesn't doesn't die um yeah i mean <laughs> knight will eat burn spells that's fine um they've got to deal with it but i think a lot of red can just plow through it like there's that's there's fair. some chunkier creatures bone crusher giant just does so he much does work, work against everything he does work uh but you'll never miss listen man what miss a land drop with knight thanks yep <laughs> that's cool um <laughs> Yeah, Thrywood Inspector to get to your stuff. So, I mean, this is super simple. Things like uh, Baffling End, Stasis Snare, those kinds of enchantments are there just to answer the board, and yeah. they do it very well. A lot of these decks are also playing two Gideons, Ally and Gideon of the Trials. Um, oh. Which this As to a, me is... like, I can't lose thing. Yes, this is this is the smokescreen. This yeah, is it. That's Wouldn't it so be, good. It's, it's really nice to both be able to instantly <laughs> win and not lose. Ever, yeah, yeah. Which Gideon of the Trials does. <laughs> holy shit <laughs> that's yes interesting yep what's the win rate on the deck though i that i'm not sure um i would be interested to know like how i don't know how, how often look that does up. it actually win you know what let's do this we'll look at pi we'll look at top eight excuse me real quick mtg top eight let's check that out yeah yeah when we'll look at i just um you know if it's like white weenie it's got a <clears throat> i can't lose combo and a I instant win it's combo. a pretty like, big that's mix pretty awesome it's a pretty good mix if it's in the top eight it wins i'll say that <laughs> you've got rank one one 16 oh i see 11 <laughs> one one oh three to four oh, okay one two two yeah one <laughs> so it's doing really well then it's doing pretty well yeah, yeah. Uh, it's doing pretty well it's doing pretty well damn uh how do you how, how do you beat that how do you beat it uh you gotta you play the same deck and get there faster <laughs> <laughs> well that's certainly a way um yeah that's a tricky one for me that's a tricky one yeah uh i think a really good way is to uh i mean if you can fight the heliod you're in a pretty good spot right um in theory if you've got cards that can fight heliod you've got a way to deal with a gideon yes hopefully i mean you so it to me that's a counter right or an exile yeah effect. i mean counter is like obvious yeah just counter well, all the key cards but like an exile effect to me like makes a lot of sense exile effects make a lot of sense there's a yeah. bunch of cards in pioneer that deal with planeswalkers and creatures so you're mm. encouraged to play both of them yeah. heavily by me especially um so like <laughs> there's i believe there's ways to do it yeah um the a lot of the green devotion decks i think there's a really solid... I didn't plan to talk about this, but fuck it, let's do it. Uh, there's a really good, interesting green toolbox deck um, mm-hmm. that is... Some people call it Devotion of Green, some people call it Karn Green, but whatever. Um, you just 
have a bunch of things that give you a whole lot of mana and then Karn the Great Creator and a bunch of like unfair spells in your sideboard. Oh, you just toolbox out. You toolbox. Well, there's and... a standard deck with that. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a sweet deck, though. A, I really like there's that. A, there, I mean, there's a much better version in oh, I'm Pioneer. Sure. <laughs> yeah. You get Emrakul. So, oh. seems pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Hard. Karn the Great Creator, man. Such a sweet card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's good a... thing it's this month's proxy. If you're interested in picking one up, you oh, can do so. <laughs> shameless plug oh baby yeah um ulamog also in the sideboard that's cool oh nice yeah i like that does it run nissa who shakes the world yes okay double all your mana seems good yeah you should do that (laughs) (laughs) seems pretty fucking great uh not only that but a lot of them are running the um the enchantment that uh you stick on a forest and it Gives you an extra mana every time you tap it. Fertile ground or something? Maybe. It's from... There's like a million of those. Yeah. Um, so you get three mana from one land. That's pretty fucking cool. It is really sweet. Yeah, yeah. That's Magic Christmas land, though. It won't ever happen. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah. So, okay. Yeah, go here's ahead. my go Here's ahead. my question. We've talked about a number of decks in Pioneer. Mm-hmm. As a format, like, as a whole, mm-hmm. I think it's fair to say Pioneer is a relatively successful new format. Hey, it absolutely can we get a magic saved in the chat boys yeah i mean like out of at least we got one good one that came out um so here's my question though to you since Uh you've been looking into this how healthy do you think the format is it was a lot healthier a couple weeks ago yeah (laughs) uh with uh both corona and the tournaments coming out wow right timely topical um it's kind of it's it's shaping up a little bit more the molds are yeah. a little bit more there which isn't a bad thing i was that, gonna say i mean that's just how it works that's how, right? exactly cream rises to the top we yeah. we opened with that analogy let's stuff it in the middle uh so th- it's gonna happen there's gonna be what i like about that problem is that the really like devoted and ag- like competitive people are gonna find ways to break the meta right yeah it course. happened in modern it will continue to happen in other formats. It'll happen in Pioneer. So yeah. there's going to be ways to do it. Naturally, it's an ebb and flow, right? Big fish, other fish, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. Um, so that's fine. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to say that it's like unhealthy right now. Uh, there's still a lot of fun decks being played. Um, I mean, considering the top deck is 11 percent of the meta that's not outrageous which means there's uh, and i mean we talked about four decks i'm sure there's quite a lot more oh god so like there's variety from my understanding you can play a whole lot of aggressive style decks which i think Um, is nice and i think that like you said there's a mold but we're Mm -hmm. not like fixated on here's three decks pick one right like we're not at that level and i don't think we'll be at that level for quite a it's not standard no No. so Um, so i from my limited understanding and for what it sounds like from you, I'm I I'm stoked about Pioneer because I do yeah. think it's a fun format. It's a I've I've played very little of it, but I've enjoyed what I have seen and everything and like it seems like it's a healthy new format. It's like, really I'm solid. It has not, I'll say, at any point felt like modern light to me. Yeah. Um, it's like in a lot of ways is a much different style than modern. Okay. You don't have to think about a lot of the same things as you do. Like the Snapcaster yeah. interaction is the biggest one to me, honestly, so, because yeah, there's yeah. a lot of a lot of decks really work on that. Um, yeah. Death Shadow not being in it is nice. Um, yeah. uh, there's still broken stuff. We just talked yeah, about decks yeah. with combos and a card that says you can't lose if you do X. So there's like <laughs> busted stuff, so yeah, to speak. Of course. Um, but that's fine once that deck is addressed i think things will get a lot better not to say that it's bad at any point right now right like i gave you a myriad of examples where it didn't win outright yeah yeah. and i think if people are talking about bannings you expect it to that deck by the way um is only where are you baby three percent of the meta oh yeah it's on the rise to be fair okay but three percent if the top is 11 it's right. got a long way to go to get exactly to the top. exactly <laughs> and honestly the mono black deck would probably perform pretty well against it yeah uh thoughts he's so. thoughts he's would wreck it steal the combo piece and you're good yeah you're good for a little while they have and to you have a top rebuild combo. plan no matter what like yeah. you just swing in every turn basically so yeah. their gideons will probably die pretty well yeah i mean you can think you so. can outclass a lot of their stuff you just kill their marshal well, and, and you have like rankle which flies over most mm-hmm. of what i assume is in that heliod deck there's no reach yeah no reach no so flyers just 
rankle in and yeah. swing at your planeswalkers. So like I haven't checked easy. out. I have not looked into my homework about the sideboards and sideboard yeah, yeah. plans. Um, sideboarding for Pioneer, I'm not an expert about. Um, I really think a lot of these decks just want to do more of the same and have stuff like just a lot of, I don't know, reoccurring things, more sure. baffling ends, more yeah, yeah. a rest in peace probably would be good. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. 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 Uh, no. Yeah. You don't want to play that against. I was <laughs> trying to think of, would that be inverter? No, that would help it win. Um, <laughs> although it depends. Technically they have to have Jace. They have to have Jace out. Yeah. So and then it would help them win. Yeah. But, yeah. It could. Man, Gideon Blackblade, where are you at in this deck? <laughs> <laughs> Blackblade. Right? Huh? It's three mana. I mean, yeah, it's sweet. I got my shit kicked by Blackblade at a um, pre-release. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, stupidly good card, especially yeah. in a sealed deck. Just my my face got pushed in the, just the <laughs> mud, dude. Oh, I love it. All right. Um. So, yeah, the, um, Pioneer, I think, is great. Yes. I think it's only going to get better um, given more cards. Um, I'm just excited that we have a new format mm -hmm. that has been, I think, widely accepted. Mm -hmm. It's it's not standard, so it's got a lot more to it. Like, there's more meat to it. Oh, uh, my God. And the so, depth. like, yeah, there's a lot more depth. It's a lot more interesting, I and think. I think it's like, honestly, it's the deeper in a way than modern. You get to play a lot more. Because yeah, like, you don't just you're... count on losing to to tron well that's or my thing like when you get into like I, I mean i liked modern quite a lot yeah but the reality was when you played a modern deck like especially game one like in a match of three or whatever game one it's like okay i know i'm up against these three decks these two i've got a really good game plan against this one probably just gonna lose like yeah it's very like you kind of just know and we, i find standard yeah. to be that way a little bit right now um i think Oh, because a lot of what's being yeah. played, at least on Arena, and again, I'm that's specifying a very particular group of people, but like Mono Red yep. gets played a lot. As Azorius it, as Control. It as it should. Oh, yeah, as it should. Azorius Control. There is still the Jun Sacrifice deck kind of there, <laughs> wow. uh, which is interesting. Yeah. Um, that's fine. There's I... Fires of Invention. Like, there's five or six decks. And those are the decks, you know what I mean? And so even in like, so like I, I keep harping on this Abzan enchantments deck, but like when I'm playing that deck, I know these are the decks I'm probably not going to do very well against. Azorius sure. Control being a very popular one, obviously, because it it's just 18% of the wrecks matter. everything. Yeah. Um, but like, I know, okay, this I'm probably going to lose against unless I just get very lucky. And it's okay. like, that was how modern felt for quite a while. Um, and I think still kind of does. Um, what it seems like to me is because there's less fleshed out, there's more depth to the pioneer format. Yep. People get to brew a little bit. People get to try stuff a little bit more and it's yeah. not just like, okay, I'm just going to lose now. Can I say one thing about pioneer and me? Yeah. Um, I'm so fucking right. If you read my pioneer control article. Yeah. I'm so fucking right. Why? There's really only one. Pioneer. Control deck. Yeah. Yeah. Blue white. Yeah. That's it. Because Teferi's still in Pioneer. Yeah. And so that's really going to only be the one. If another control deck even thinks about taking over, <laughs> Time Raveler's like, all right, but how would you like to not cast spells? <laughs> and Time Raveler's just go. too good. That's also a new proxy that we made, so it'll be available for voting. Time, Rav Time Raveler's excellent. It needs to be banned in Pioneer. Yeah. Um, it just shuts down too much, I think. No other control deck really gets to go and do anything. That's no. it. That's kind of it. Yeah. Um, great card against a lot of decks. Like it. I mean, obviously, but yeah, yeah. yeah it's tough to do anything against it. Yeah. You should read that article. I spent a lot of time writing it, so go read it. It's good. It's on our website, Gib. Nice. What's our website? www.itresolvesmtg.com. That was as much for you as it was for me, yeah. audience. I forgot. <laughs> you forgot i posted an article about all the updates we talked about cool, 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 cool. Um, we haven't posted articles in a while we probably need to no uh well anyway thank you for the pioneer update hey man greatly appreciate it do you feel explored have you explored enough <laughs> do i feel explored yeah, yeah i do thanks <laughs> thanks for exploring me hey man <laughs> uh no did that I was like what really i good. found did I, did I like what i found 
No. Would I share it with anyone else? Also, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh, that's that's a, that's a common that's a joke. Uh, this is another change. Yeah, we're gonna, we're talk gonna do about. things a little bit different. So we, you know, how we crack packs. Yeah, always sponsored by Grand Slam. Uh, it's still sponsored by Grand Slam. It is still but sponsored by Grand Slam. We Kip, really do what's appreciate different, it. Though? What's what so, are we changing? What's the wrinkle? In so time? the we're doing things a little bit differently here. Um, well, um, I'm gonna read these cards out. We're gonna go kind of one by one through this pack. Okay. Um. And we're going to talk a little bit. It's more time to about put it. your thinking caps on. Picture um, yourself. You're at a tournament. It's limited. You're opening a pack of Theris Beyond Death. <laughs> what did you think it was? <laughs> I, wasn't, <laughs> I, mean, I wasn't sure. Um, I know what the rare is. Uh, okay. I'm going to read these out to you. Okay. And everybody out here. Uh, flop them. Flop we'll em. flop them out. Um, I'm going to go commons first on commons, then rare, of course. So, right. uh, but I'm not going to just names of cards. All so, right. Traveler's Amulet. That's the pick. Uh, I actually like Traveler's Amulet, but I'm just, just in general. I'm just kidding. Aspect of Manticore. Because that's the pick. Captivating <laughs> All right, I'll take this seriously. I, I, I uh, Brian Giant. So far, nothing sticking out. Omen no. of the Forge, though. I like that's Omen good. of the Forge. The omens are pretty good. Omens are all pretty sweet. Uh, Farika's Libation. Eh. That's fine. Return to Nature. Uh, actually pretty good. It does destroy a lot in this format. It does... <sighs> That's Normally like a, it's a tech card, but because it hits enchantments, that's like three, honestly, for me. Like around pick three, if I see it, and I'm in yeah. the colors. I'm like, like I'm cool. All right, that's gonna I'd hit a lot of the things. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't. We'll see if I can pronounce this right. Oh boy, blight breath, catabolipus. <laughs> that's not correct. It's the three G that kills the thing. <laughs> I just wanted to say catabolipus. <laughs> Thought that was funny. It's probably Katobapos, honestly. Probably. Okay. It's a fine card, but not a first pick. Like, if I'm, I'm in I'm a heavy think black. Greek. I'm trying to think. How would they say? Katobapos sounds Greek. Yeah. To me. Um, definitely wouldn't pick it over Omen of the Forge, though. No. I think I would take Omen first. You think? Actually? Yeah. Uh, so far, Omen, I think, is it's the two pick. Two sack and... Sack, or you two damage to anything, but then you also get to scry. Yeah. And it's a it's... flash. So you can, like, leave it up on multiple decks. Okay. Yeah. Um, that very specifically wants to be in black focused. You okay. know what I mean? Like this could go into red okay. X, whatever. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm tracking. Okay. Inspire awe is our last common, which is not a good card. No, I uh, don't like it. At four mana, you got to give me a lot and I'm yeah, still think that's, it's doing the work well, it's for just, me. And it's, it's a fog, right? Yeah. Like I don't even read that card cause it says prevent all damage. And I'm like, yep. nope, <laughs> not in, uh, I hate that hey. effect in limited period In limited. Definitely. Um, certain constructed decks. Sure. So I think at this point, Omen of the forge, it, looking at the commons, that would be the pick. Um, okay. For me, uh, Heliod's Punishment is our first uncommon. Good. Very good one. Good. Uh, good Shimmerwing card. Chimera, also that's very also, good. Also good. Uh, Blood Aspirant, also wow, pretty good. That's a tough. The uncommon slot is looking pretty pretty Stacked, solid. Stacked, baby. Um, I'm gonna. We do have a foil, so I'm gonna go with that too. Uh, Thermaturgs okay. familiar. Thermaturgists. Thermaturgists. Is it thermo? Thaumaturgist, yeah, that fine, one. fuck it. Okay. Um, so what's the pick so far before we look at the rare? Because <laughs> I can't, I know what it is. Okay. Um, for me, <laughs> gosh, I like Blood Aspirin a lot, but I think honestly, for me, um, I think it's the Chimera. Um, Chimera is very good. It is. I think it's the Chimera. I like kind of with that. You get to use a lot of your. I mean, with the omens, you get to use them again. Yeah, exactly. Which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And I know I get that a lot of times you can <clears> sack <throat> it and get value, but like, it's using also just the a ETB, flyer. Yeah, it's a three two like, flyer. Three two flyer up for four. Mm -hmm. Not amazing, but like it's a beater in the air. Yeah, like, that's it's gonna do some yeah, damage. You have to answer that in limited, yeah, of and course. you get recurring. The value from your enchantment so to yeah, me absolutely. to me the chimera is the pick okay i i think i agree with you for sure that that card is cool just super solid and then we have elspeth <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go with the chimera no i'm just kidding uh i will say one thing about elspeth yeah um i mean it is the pick here uh because it's reoccurring yeah. value obviously it's not like uh, it is a game ending card yeah um but it's not as quick to end the game as I've, uh, as you would necessarily hope out of a planeswalker. 
Agreed. Um, but it's not necessarily. I mean, it's meant to just spit out creatures, pump them up, get to replay Elspeth, like do you know what I mean? It's a yeah. reoccurring value. So that's yeah. the the great thing it, about it. It to me is like. <clears throat> This is the analogy I would use for Elspeth. It's like a little, you know, you're playing a racing game. It's like a burst of nitrous. Yeah. Where it's like, wham, Elspeth's down and you have some tutus. Yeah. A lot of the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or one one, excuse me. But one you have, ones. you have but, like yeah, a yeah. bigger board now. And like, sure, they might have been ahead of you, ahead of your nitrous, but now you're caught up and all yes, that stuff. Exactly. Um, it gives you some outs. It's uh, some, and um, it does, feel, I mean, if you're me, in a winning position, it helps you get there very quickly. Yeah, it has to pass that test. If it yeah. doesn't help you win more, fuck it. Don't fuck play it. it. It's not worth it. But like it does that. also help. Yeah, it does also help you dig out of some positions. So like it's got use. In I multiple think seldom. I think that's hmm, that's probably more true than I'm giving it credit for. But a part of me wants to say not as often as you think, because it doesn't do a ton. No. Well, so my thing is it gives you extra turns that's very to fair. find that's answers very fair. That's even if true. it's not the answer itself that's true. it definitely gives you answers or it gets you to your answers getting um, five life is never really like i mean it's it's not really everyone what you want to do it's not great um but the spinning out of mm-hmm. a couple of creatures like that's 90 percent of what you mm-hmm. use it for and I'm it in. can bust a board stall by pumping the team yes which is nice i mean if you look at quadrant theory it does a good bit it checks out in a lot of them yeah. um I, it's not amazing it doesn't do as good. much as i want on the losing front but yeah no i can i understand that. but like not a lot of planeswalkers do more planeswalkers in white do than any other color i think yes maybe except for green i'm thinking of like the gerigs have passed yeah, because they can mm. destroy target creature right. like black, uh, black green Garricks and like Vraskas yeah. and stuff like that. A right, lot right, of right. Them just Vraskas straight can, kill or uh, Golgari Queen. I think. Well, no, wait. What's the first Vraskas? Oh, uh, good lord! I don't remember. Gorgon, right? Gorgon something? Maybe I don't know. From like OG Ravnica, yeah, or yeah, yeah. Return. Return to Ravnica. Return. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't say OG Ravnica and it be Return to Ravnica. You're right. It's so crazy. Um, anyway. <clears throat> regardless i mean elspeth is the pick i do think yeah. without elspeth good um shimmering or shimmerwing chimera is definitely the pick though so pretty solid pack though for limited I'm yeah in. i think that's a really good st- really good stuff yeah yeah i'm in uh thank you to grand slam for sponsoring yeah. and I, I like this format better i think we're gonna keep doing this wait let's do this what was the best common out of that pack would you the say best common yeah i think omen are we saying for limited yeah oh of course definitely omen i think I think you've got an argument for I guess return or too. omen. I think omen in a vacuum is obviously better. Return's only going to be as good as the shit it kills. Yep. Um, so I'm with you on omen. What's what's the best uncommon you think? I think chimera. Um, uh, I'm with you. There. I lean towards so Heliod's punishment very very good, but in especially limited, and we've talked about this a million times. You mm-hmm. lean towards the creature generally. Yeah. Um, because it's actually going to help you win the game, not just stop whatever they're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, plus this just gives you multiple procs off of a ton of stuff, yeah. and it's a flyer. Like it's got a lot. Yeah. Um, I think this is gonna. I'd like to do that. I think as well. I know we didn't talk about that, but I think that'd be interesting. Okay. What's the best common? What's the best common? What's the best uncommon? That yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, I'm in. I think those are the most confusing <clears throat> picks because, like, you you know, a playable rare from a rare that's oh, like yeah. not Absolutely. limited playable. So that's kind of you know easy picks definitely. Um, but I think I those a lot, else, a lot of people get lost in like I don't know what uncommons are good. Yeah, and uncommons are kind of like the best cards in limited. Yeah, or yeah, the yeah. cards you get the most oomph out of. Oh yeah. If you're sure. missing the if you're missing the good good flagship uncommons, it's hard to like move a strategy no matter what it is. Yep. Unless it's just like I picked a lot of red cards, so let's <laughs> let's tap. Yeah. Put yeah. yourself in a stipulation where it's like, I'm picking every red card. Let's go. Well, yeah, you can certainly do that. Um, I think if you're... I've kind of forced myself into the mono yeah. white thing a lot. Um, I think if you're new, that's the best thing to do in limited. Is I think to it's just a pick good way to like, color. yeah, because it's a good way to evaluate a card because like you kind of take the you take a lot of the decision making out. So True. then when it comes to the deck building portion, ah. that's where all of your decision making actually comes in. Sure. You know what I'm saying? It's uh-huh. like, it's pretty easy out of like two or three cards to pick the best because if there's only two or three white cards in your opening pack, for instance, okay, well this one's very clearly the better than this one, which means this one's better than this one. So it's like, okay, easy pick. Yeah. 
And then when you get to the deck building portion, it's like, okay, I need 23 cards. What are my best ones? That's where you really have to make some stronger decisions. Yeah. So that's where you get to figure out, okay, what are the best white cards in the format? That's a good idea. You know what I mean? We might should do that with every new set. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, I'll be the first to say, I thought white was like the worst color um, for Theros Beyond Death in limited or specifically draft. Sure. Um, I found it to be one of the best now. Yeah. Um, I have won a shit ton of games with just mono white. <laughs> hey. Sentinel's eyes on everything. It's got strong interaction, doesn't it? Well, it's just got recursive value. Right. Like, because of Sentinel... Like, Sentinel's eyes is just one man enchantment, but you get to play it over and over again. And yeah. you just get, like, pious wayfarers and shit like that. It's like... It's just dummies that get bigger. Yeah. It's very like white weenie esque. Yeah. It just doesn't oh, hate yeah. bear anything. Hundred percent. Um so cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh well thank you again to Grand Slam. We really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Pioneer Updates and Updates to our channel. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Hmm. It's nice to record again. I feel like it's been a while. It hasn't, but it feels yeah. like it's been a while. I'm with you there. We're a little You're late right. to the episode party. We were supposed to get this out on Oh, Wednesday that's right, I forgot. But it's um Come, it's, it's coming today, so relax. There it is. Um, Whatever today is. What else do I want to talk about? What do you think would be like, aside from the obvious, so non-carnivorous, what do you think the worst animal to fall into the zoo and meet would be? Uh, That's not the obvious. It doesn't have sharp, pointy teeth that want to yeah, bite yeah, you. Yeah. Or a gorilla. <laughs> They have sharp teeth. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, but they don't eat you. Yeah. Well, no, gorillas don't. They'll just beat the shit out of you. They just, yeah, they really. The chimps are a different story. Yes. Fuck those little bastards. They're not um, little. No, they're I not. thought they were much smaller. But... They're not. Yeah. I've been not. So sidebar really they're quick thick. before we answer, we come to a conclusion on this. Okay. Um, I've been watching and Caitlin hates it. She really hates nature documentaries. Hmm because they put Why? her to sleep she's like they're great fall asleep shows which Boo. i kind of get because like you got like a british person it's mostly a british person just it should be a british should person. be beautiful imagery yeah. a british person talking to you like that's relaxing i get that mm -hmm. however i like it because from the like video standpoint i'm like holy Gorgeous. shit it's stunning. gorgeous right and yeah. like how did they rack focus and like what kind of telephoto lens are they using to get that close i'm like that's yeah, what yeah, i yeah, think yeah, about yeah so I'm like, damn, this is cool. Um, I lost my shit for about two hours one night. Really? Because I started on a video about um, coconut <clears throat> crabs. Yeah. And fell further and further into the crab hole. <laughs> Where did you land at the end of it? Um, so at the end, I was learning about uh, hermit crabs uh, and their whole process and yeah, stuff. Yeah. And dude, yeah. have you ever seen one of them little guys out of a shell? I haven't actually. <laughs> weird it's about it? as weird as you'd think huh. it's imagine if your finger yeah, was yeah. a crab on one end that's <laughs> oh, kind of what they look like okay and so because you got to think about it, they're carrying this shell forever right yeah well i assume their body kind of molds into co it. correct 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 this little boy grips this motherfucking shell yeah you know how every like conch or seashell or whatever will like wash upon the shore yeah and it's got like the spinny swirly inside yeah yeah they have to have a body part that fits in it smoothly and then grips it Ugh. it's a very strong like membrous finger that's crazy we're gonna look this up yeah dude it's kind of after this because I need it's to not it. unsettling but it's certainly like that shouldn't be how that, that looks be a thing. and it is <laughs> did you know coconut crabs are a cousin of the hermit crab well i did actually so mm. funny enough nice. i was watching these documentaries yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and one of them was talking about like island animals in particular okay uh and i don't remember where it was somewhere off of like south america maybe yeah uh but regardless they were talking you know coconut crabs lived on this island and all that stuff and they were talking about the life cycle of a coconut crab okay and that they uh initially so they're obviously born in the ocean right and then come up to shore and then they're land-based creatures from then on out well so they like I don't know. I don't know exactly how this works. I don't know if they like steal a shell or they're just like whatever. But they are just like, I'm going to take this shell for a bit until my exoskeleton actually grows. Nice. And so they Good. look very similar to a hermit crab for quite some time until very they cool, actually cool, cool, cool. grow into their giant fucking They get their cells. hard body. They are. 
They are fucking huge and kind of gross. They're like, super big. Although I will say not as big as I thought they'd be. No, I thought they would be a little bit bigger. Right? As well. It's not disappointing. They're still like, I'm not touching I'm it. I'm not touching it. Like <laughs> I might. I'm going to be honest. I might. I wouldn't. So, okay. My family and I used to, this is going to sound very like hoity twenty and rich, but it's not. I swear. We used to uh, eat lobster a lot at home. A lobster's great. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'd buy a bunch because there, yeah. there was a lot of us. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we would race lobsters. And oh, of course. And whoever won, we'd most likely eat. If a lobster just gave the fuck up, we wouldn't eat them. Um, Interesting. Interesting that the winner is the one you eat. There is a reason for this, Kevin. Oh. Crustaceans, crabs, lobsters, other creepy crawlies of the wet place. Uh, <laughs> the massive wet zone that yeah. has all the fish. The one giant the one the one giant drop have you heard that theory by the way of what that the ocean is one giant super organism i mean kind of if you think about it i mean it, it is. sort of is but it, there's like a theory that it's like it's got a mind of its own oh well, that's thing. not true like, it's interesting um yeah, yeah. i did i don't think i don't agree with that but i think it's, it's water yeah, well exactly <laughs> <but> like <laughs> biggest problem is it's water it's really funny um, yeah yeah sorry i just uh but so the the creepy crawlies of the one big drop yeah. so these boys uh it once they die or start to die and, and like break down and stuff uh their bodies become inedible poisonous it could kill you oh fuck so if the wiggly ones win you know that well that guy's not close to the end yet <laughs> okay I'm, I'm gonna eat it <laughs> but if you're a lobster is like this is about as far as i got <laughs> <laughs> You know that that's the one that you're like, maybe stay away from it. Maybe stay away. Yeah, yeah. Maybe stay away. Interesting. I Learned it that. from my French grandparents, French great grandparents. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, yeah, we be. <laughs> um. So yeah, isn't that cool? That's so interesting. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I. Regardless, hey Kevin, I love these. Do you want to know what the what animal with the um biggest penis to body ratio is? <laughs> It's not what you think. I feel like I know this. It's not what you think. Go ahead. Tell me. What do you think it is? Is it a squirrel? No. What the fuck? <laughs> I feel yeah, like yeah, you okay. just think there's fucking... <laughs> no, you no, just no. think every squirrel's running around <laughs> like, that's a unit. <laughs> that's not a tail. No. <laughs> <laughs> I remember on... Uh, this is such a like random memory that I'm accessing. Thank you, Daft Punk. Uh there it is <laughs> sure oh man I love what do we joke. call this thing uh gosh we have to wait until 2003 to find Fuck out off, you <laughs> ass. It's, it's the 60s we're just um, gonna be in mystery for a while anyway um no there was a good mythical morning episode oh very nice where they like blacked out did they do penis i wasn't like focused on a penis but oh. like they were it was like animal trivia or something like that okay. and there was a squirrel <clears throat> that had like a giant dick interesting I believe. I, I bet there's be like I bet there's some squirrels out there who are just Maybe. absolutely just, loaded. Yeah, they it's like just, a fucking unit. You know? <laughs> yeah. They just flop it out there. And it's like you can't it's uncomfortable. They don't make it long in the squirrel world because it's like, yeah, yeah, it's like how do you bounce around trees? <laughs> if thirty caught on some 30, 30 to forty percent like of your body weight. There it like when you weigh six <laughs> pounds and have a three pound peen, it's like real hard to get anything done. <laughs> All right, tell me. The sea urchin. Wow. Yep. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have guessed that. Yep. It's like nine inches. <laughs> what the it, fuck? It, like, extends. <laughs> Ducks will get there next Did time. Did you see my duck post? No, I, I'm not on the social meds anymore. Oh, I forgot. I'm going to show you this. We also have to figure out the answer to your original question, which was... Oh, shit. What would you not want to fall You're into? You're right. In we have to find it so we can Man, be released. we are so rambling To be today. released from this it. podcast. What's the this answer? So fun. What's the answer, Kevin? I don't know. I kind of just want to keep this conversation. This is Philip. Dude! I took a photo of a duck in... Nobody can see this. I took a photo a of a duck in uh, beautiful Greenville. Beautiful duck. While I was there for work. She'd sell that picture. It's just a duck. <laughs> All right. Does anybody want to fuck photo me of then? I didn't the mean duck. to some nerd. Oh. I meant to like a nature documentaries oh, or okay. a, a nature place. Oh, maybe. Nat Geo. That's yes. a great picture. That was with the uh, new lens, the it's 85 mil. Sensual. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, anyway, okay. What would you not want to, what cage would you not want to fall into? Boa constrictor would be quite bad. 
but you could get out. They're not real fast, though, are they? And they don't do the bitey bitey. So if, as long as you don't let them get all up well, on you. Well, they do bite, but it's not. Well, I mean, that's but, not the kill factor. <laughs> right, 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 right. They're not going to bite you. Like, that's. They bite you if you're fucking with it. If you're up there bopping his nose, he's going to bite you. But if, yeah. you, if you just fall in, he might slither up on you. But if you just wiggle away, it's going to be terrifying. Don't get me wrong. I mean, yeah. I'm thinking, like, spiders would be terrible. Oh, yep. I changed my answer. What did you have one? Spiders are awful, but yeah, hippos like the worst. Oh god, yeah, hippos. Fuck Hippo that. Would f- they will straight up murder anything. <laughs> like yeah, they are demented creatures. Yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think that's probably it, right? Because they're fast. Yeah. And they fucking well, but a zoo hippo. Again, we're talking about the pussies of the animal world. I mean, that's true. They don't know their strength. These hippos. A shark would be bad yeah but you know what no here's why Mm. sharks and aquariums have been overfed so they are the laziest bastards in the world okay like these sharks why people can dive and not be afraid in an aquarium and so that they won't eat all the other fish they're in the aquarium (laughs) with they just feed them and like way too much yeah yeah you know what i went to an aquarium in like i think it was myrtle beach it's got a long, windy tunnel of full of sharks and eels yeah, and shit. Yeah. The eels, I think, would be awful. <laughs> the eels would be terrible. Eels! Stingrays. Oh, yeah. Rip, uh, nah, matter of fact, name? I gotta get the fuck in there. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta show them they <laughs> still got avenge. shooters out here, man. <laughs> hey, we dropping all that smoke on them Stingray boys, man. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, hey, you remember Steve? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bitch. What other nah, animals? Nah, but they're probably pretty be... cool, honestly. What but... animals would be terrible, though? Other ones. Chimps. Chimps are bad, yeah. They go for the nuts. They're fucking terrible. And the dude. face. But the nuts, too. Yeah. I, baboons. Baboons would be bad. That would be Because you can't outrun a baboon. You can't outrun a chimp, but, you know. Well, how did we make it this far, dude? I don't know, but I'll I'm tell having you a good how. time, honestly. <laughs> I'll tell you how. This is a good I meant humanity. Uh, I'll tell you how. Yeah, tell me. We just. Uh, what's our superpower? So many animals have fucking awesome things, right? The mantis yeah. shrimp being the king of awesome things. Um, you know about the mantis shrimp. Sure. Do you? No, I don't. Do you not? Oh, Kevin. This, this is evo- fun to this me. Is evo- I don't know what we're talking about anymore. The mantis shrimp is evolution's like Gatling gun. It's <laughs> so... it. The Gatling gun changed the way we do warfare. No, I know You that. couldn't line up in a line anymore because, surprise, they're all dead. <laughs> the mantis shrimp is that. Okay. But a shrimp. So... Ow great fucking question great question kevin okay so there's two kinds of mantis shrimp really primarily there's a bunch of different kinds but they fall into two chapters oh so you have two kinds there's a speary mantis shrimp whose arms are like little spears oh right they shoot out spear that their dudes. uh there's a pokemon maybe anyway okay sorry go ahead sure. please continue the second kind and the fucking bee's knees it's is the like i forget what they call them but they're they're like the beaters they have hammers for hands <laughs> what yeah they like <laughs> snap out and either stun or instantly kill their prey how big are they they're like they're like this long so they're pretty big they're like they're meaty yeah you know they yeah, don't yeah. they don't fly around in little shrimp flocks like other yeah, shrimps no, yeah, yeah these are like solitary shrimps that hang out around coral reefs and such and yeah. little hidey holes where they can surprise fish and crabs and stuff right these guys can break crab shells in a hit which is pretty fucking dope wow yeah they, i mean they have as much <laughs> wabap as a 20 caliber bullet so what the shit yes here's the fucking coolest part about them kevin their wabap, wristy bony thing is so powerful um i forget what it's called but it's thermo something but in the fucking ocean kevin their hinge fires so fast that the space where the hinge is uh all of the water and like oxygen in that little like in a little bubble explodes for a second it's like oh my fires. god yeah it's like a it's like a light bulb explodes what? right yes it's the coolest fucking thing oh ever. my god i'm into this it's a much it's enough torque to just pop can a little we bit of start light. a separate podcast where we choose an animal and go way too oh! in depth every episode guys we're here to announce the end of it resolves <laughs> Dude, I'm so in for that. I would love to do that. That's a, that'd be amazing. Yeah, fuck this magic Dude, stuff. Podcast idea. This, All right. That was very loud. And this is happening. Um, do we need to end this episode? No, we don't. This needs to happen. They All need right. to know. Here's the thing. Yeah. We each 
Come up with some kind of parameter. Okay. Sea creature could be the parameter. All okay. Right. All right. We each do research. Okay. Yes. We come yes. to a... Yes. We're, we have to pit these animals against each other. Oh, fuck. Okay. We have to fight these two animals. What if we pick the same and animal? And we have to debate which one's going to win. What if we pick the same animal? What if it's sharks one week? And you That'd and be I, fine. And you and I each pick, pick a mako shark. Could we... Uh, could we so could we somewhat randomize it where it's like okay we pick sharks we'll just we know what each other's sharks are are ahead of time you know what okay. i mean so like we can say well we got 40 different kinds of sharks we pick a number one through 40 random number generator it and then we each have to defend <laughs> that but i feel like great white will always be nurse so <laughs> yes, to a point, I feel like it's moot. You know, like capybara is better than squirrel <laughs> in almost every way. You know, and like Except dicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I waited all this long to finally get a good joke in. I'm uh, with it. I'm tracking what you're saying. Um, we got to find a way to make that work, though. We or can, we could just talk about them. We can just teach each other about our animals. I'd be into that. Or like, uh, yeah, something. Let's do it. All right. Okay. I'm I'm dead done. serious. I want to do this now. Yeah. Like, this is sweet. Yeah. Sold. All right. Finally, a, a podcast I can share my family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess we can end this episode. We've been going for way fucking long. What's our name? Oh, yeah, yeah. We do need a name. Hmm. 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 The Zoo Boys. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Um. Hmm. We'll come up with that in a moment. Yeah. yeah. Let's end this. All right. Guys, All right. Thank you so much for watching. If this you made it this far, did we teach Holy you anything crap. about if animals? If you did, comment below just your favorite shark. Yeah. If you comment your favorite shark, you win a thing. I don't know what, My but love. I would very, My respect. I would be very willing to send you something. A Agreed. proxy. A free proxy. Um, multiple proxies all of the proxies <laughs> <laughs> every proxy we've got that's a lie some proxies you can get something if you comment your favorite shark down below 100 yeah. percent. yeah i'm super in Let's you, do you'll it. win one free huggy next time you see me i don't mean a diaper i mean a hug i'll hug you i'll send you a diaper all right kevin will send you a may diaper. or may not be used <laughs> and we're back and full you're the circle. one with the baby all right full circle <laughs> why, guys, why thank kevin you steal all our used yeah. <laughs> all right thank you for watching guys we're gonna get out of here my name is kevin my name's will this has been it resolves i have nothing left to joke about that sucks <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>